Hello and uh, welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about cakewalk and uh, recording with MIDI and playing with MIDI. So uh, very first thing what we're going to do is uh, take a look at our, have a little review of our controls. Uh, controls we're going to use a lot is the is the play controls up here. Stop, play, pause, and record. Those are the ones we're going to use if we're going to record from a MIDI keyboard. And, that, and also if we want to just play the tune that we wrote. Um, over here is our tools we're going to use, the Smart Tool, Move, uh, Edit Tool, uh, Draw, and Erase if we wanted to. Again, over here is our Help Module, so every time we hover over anything it'll give us some clues on it. It's not full screen cakewalk, uh, I've got it reduced a little bit so I can make a smaller uh, video size and work with my capture program on it. Uh, we have our Council shown down here, so this is our Council. We have one channel, that's our mic channel don't need that to be uh, on record. Uh, something I missed the uh, other videos is that normally when this is full screen you will see the master and the metronome and the preview buses up here. So you can add buses in here. So this is master so once you have all your outputs then you can monitor the levels. I pretty much only use this to monitor the levels to make sure I'm not overdriving the output. When you're recording here's the metronome you can turn that down a bit. The metronome is not recorded it's just during recording you can hear it. And you can have a preview uh, channel. You can actually add a, a few more in here if you like. And that The only thing I use here is really monitoring the output level and that's all. Let's get into MIDI. So what we're going to do is create another track that's for MIDI only and we do it very similar to how we did the audio track in the previous video. So we add a track. This time we select an instrument. Previously we're selecting, selecting audio. We're going to select an instrument. And we're going to go with the default and our input is going to be Omni. At this point when you see Omni that's saying that you have some sort of MIDI keyboard that you're going to use with it. You don't need it but it's nice to have. Right, so we'll create the track. Up comes a, a, a mixer here. I'm not sure what this mixer is for. I haven't really got into it. I imagine that if your levels are low you would bump it up or whatever but I've never used it so I just close it down. And now we have our new MIDI track showing up on our console. Uh, some of the things that what you can do is we want to select an instrument. So how do you select an instrument? You go to the MIDI tab that just showed up here. So here's MIDI and what we'll find out is that we have our regular audio that we've seen before with audio but we have an extra one called MIDI. This portion here is the same as this. The only important thing here is these three pull down menus. The first one is the MIDI channel and we're going to just go with the number one. Then we're going to select the bank and we're going to go with the preset normal zero. And then now we have instruments. So if you click on here, we can patch in 128 different instruments. Everything from a tubular bell to music box to a nylon guitar, distortion guitar, uh, fretless bass, uh, alto sax up here, um, pan flute. Uh, I think I saw a seashore and they're a bird tweet and that. So we'll just select, uh, let's do the piano. The piano is the very first one. So now I've got the piano hooked up. If you have a keyboard, you should be able to play the keyboard and you'll hear it. And you have the same effects available that you have on the audio channel. I can put reverb on. I'll just leave this as piano. I'm not a great piano player, as you can already tell. Right. And now we have a piano instrument. And I can record it. So I'll hit re re record. And uh, now I'll start recording. And I've recorded it. I can stop. So that's all fine and dandy, but I want to see the individual notes. It is MIDI, so we're going to go to a mode called Piano Roll View. So I go to Views up here, and I go down to Piano Roll View, and now we can actually see we have our keyboard here, and now we have our notes. right? And you'll see that um, I was trying to go with the uh, metronome 
actually I wasn't paying too much attention to it. And what we can do is actually move the notes where we want. And if I want to move everything, I can do shift select just like you would do uh, normally in Microsoft Word or control chef and I want to move everything over to the second measure. Uh, maybe it's too high an octave I'll just move it down right? and now what happens there is a grid this is the grid right here it's called the snap grid and uh, a sixteenth is good so it does sixteenth notes and sometimes you what you can do is you right click on it and then you can select like 32, 64, 128. 16 is good to start. And uh, now I can put these notes. And adjust them. So now when I play. And we can see back here. And I've got a horrible little melody. And now, let's say I want to add some notes to this. Um, maybe I want to go put one note in between here. What I can do is select my draw tool, draw freehand. Then over here, I have the different notes. So I'm just going to select a 16th note and I'm going to go like this. So now it goes. Let's see what happens with a couple of them. And that, that's how easy it is to work with MIDI. Right? And it, I can save this. I'll go File Save. I got it as Tutorial 1. Right? So now I have this saved. I want to add another track instrument default create we get this up close it down again I select uh, um, the presets I had maybe I want to have a bass because I'm a bass player acoustic bass is pretty nice I want to practice a bit now the problem is I can't see the other MIDI. So what I can do is go to tracks and I can select all tracks. Now I can see finally a grade out the other tracks so I have an idea of when it is. I can put notes here so this is a C, an E and a G so that's a C major. So I'll right click insert a marker I put a C. How come it, oh, sorry I have to it moved over here Right? So wherever your cursor is, is where your marker. Now one of the things you can do is you can move the marker over. So all I did is I clicked and dragged it over. Right? So over here I've got a C, an E, and an A. Let's see. That's A minor. Right? So I can click on here, right click, insert marker, A minor. I can start playing and I'm going to be on uh, uh, this is a, a bass now I want to practice you can practice when you're happy then you can record something else you can do is you can highlight So I've gone, uh, let's see, it looks like two measures. So I've clicked and highlighted on the top here, and then I right click and I set my loop points. Now what's going to happen is it's going to do a loop. So I'll start here, it'll play, get in the loop, and continue. So that way if I wanted to uh, freestyle a bass rift, I can just start going. practice that way if I wanted to. And then afterwards I want to turn it off. I right click on here. I say loop off. 
and then I can record if I wanted to, right? So I'll do it really soon. And then I've recorded a bass rift here. The bass is going to be lower, so I'm going to look at this. Obviously, it's not in time, so I'm going to drag it over. And then I can add, I know at this point there's an A minor, so what I might do is click and drag and say I'm going to go C, A minor. Whoop. Stay in the same key. And obviously this is the wrong key, so I can always Scoot up here, see what these guys are doing. That's C, C, C. So this is a E flat, so maybe I want to do something like that. Whoops, put an E flat. I have no idea what I'm doing. And that's how easy it is to play with uh, adding MIDI in here. And you can just add as much channels as you want. You get to play with it. Uh, these controls are the ones you want to use. Here's an example. I ended at measure 4, but I have a note here and I don't want that note. And maybe there's a whole bunch of notes here and I want it to end. So what I'll do is I'll go to measure 4, click, and then what I can do is go to my split tool and over here I split it and it says this is the part I want to work on, this is the part I want to get rid of. So let's say there's a whole bunch of notes there in garbage, you can just clip it now, when we play, it'll stop at 4. See how it played? And it, it'll start playing it wherever you, you place your cursor. And that's basically how you uh, use MIDI. If we go now to uh, our console, what we can actually do is see what our levels are. Um, maybe I want my piano on this side, on the left side, I want my bass on this side. Um, I'll go back to piano roll and I'll start it at the beginning. Go to console, I'm switching back and forth. Right. And then you can add your effects in as you require. Uh, so that covers everything you need to know to get started on MIDI. If you go back to initial setup, I think that was video number two, uh, it'll tell you how to set up your MIDI keyboard. Okay, thank you very much.